Welcome to Low Budget. Let's check out Captain Planet for the NES. This is Ron Moore, and this video was requested years ago by a good friend of mine, Demond. Demond, how are you doing? Uh, doing just fine. <laughs> this is going to be fun. This this is a this is this is going to be an interesting revisit, and I guess we'll go into that as we. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at it right now, it's just bringing back it's, it's just bringing back memories. Yeah, this is... I was gonna say, uh, yeah, I've, I, you requested this, I think, in 2009, and I don't know uh -huh. why I put it on the back burner, and it just came to my attention recently, and I said I need to finally do this and try to get Demond in the video. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. while I love the cartoon, uh, I don't know. Let me see if I like this game. What is your impression of it, Demond? So. Uh, Captain Planet aired on TBS in the early '90s. I want to say it was it, it was a it was one of uh, Ted Turner's ideas, ventures, whatever you want to call it. But either which way, it's um, but, but either which way, when I first saw the show, I was I was I was actually as as a child, as an impressionable child, I was in, I was impressed by it. But the, but the problem with it is, is now that I'm looking back on it, I realize how stupid it is. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's um, it, 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 I don't know. There, there, there's like this, uh, there's this environmental craze in the in, in the 90s. Everyone was overly concerned about uh, chlorofluorocarbons and um, what was it? What was it? Chlorofluorocarbons and styrofoam and materials uh, and materials that don't degrade over time, I suppose. And which, I mean, which is a which is a genuine concern, but at the same time. The, the the premise of Whoa, the cartoon. Uh, Big Bang Raiders uh, in this game. <laughs> yeah. I, okay. Yeah. And that, the name. Okay. Now the, the the names of the characters are completely ridiculous as well. So we had Hoggish Greatly, Doctor Blight, um, Sly Sludge, Paul Heyman. Uh, no. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Blunder. Was it Doc Blunder? L Luton. Luton Blunder. Yeah. Paul Heyman. <laughs> Paul. Back when he was Paul Lee Dangerously. Right. <laughs> But but the but but the other thing about the cartoon is is that it it had a ridiculous it must have had a ridiculously high budget. Yeah. Um. Because uh, and the reason I mentioned that we we just saw Gaia, who was voiced by Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> oh wow! Really? I never knew that. Uh, uh huh. She, yeah, Gaia was voiced by Whoopi Goldberg. Um, Jeez. Let's see. Um. What was it? Not no. Um. Man, I, I keep down already. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and, and 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 that's the thing about, and that was the thing about the game because when I um when I when I first heard that they had a no, I didn't hear about the Captain Planet game because it wasn't it, because it wasn't necessarily marketed, at least not to my awareness. I found out about this game in a rental store, yeah. and when I saw it, I was like, oh wow, they have Captain Planet, so I get a chance to play as Captain Planet. Yeah, no, nope. she, she's disappointed in my gameplay and in this game. Yeah, <laughs> you disappointed, Whoopi. <laughs> yeah, well, Whoopi. <laughs> but uh yeah I, yeah first saw this game at a rental store i figured yeah i get you know i get a chance to play as captain planet so i can you know as, you know so I, it's i was anticipating a side scroller you know uh, 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 I, I was I, I i had i had this anticipation of this high octane uh heavily involved side scroller you know uh, along the lines of mega man or uh super mario brothers no you're the geo cruiser and that's the name of that little um, chip there uh nope you're the geo cruiser yeah well i'm not cruising to this game jeez no you're not at all but but you see the thing is that the game is frustrating it's not it, it, this game it doesn't necessarily um the thing about video games at least video games in the 90s or early 90s late 80s is that because of the limited technology the game would literally have to teach you how to play it as you went along which means that the which means that, <laughs> what were you doing <laughs> i tried to use the heart i tried to use my heart power to beat a uh, std oh, uh, whatever the, std whatever those uh, things are called in star wars <laughs> uh, an atat -A no atst the so, at so. yeah that's what they look like, but the, but the thing is, is like these games are supposed to teach you how to play them as you go along. But the thing is, but the thing about this game is that it didn't do that. It just throws you right into. I mean, how, how would you have survived that? Jeez, like, right? it, it, it it just throws you into this arduous gameplay. It it doesn't make any sense. It's like a failed it, version of Galaga here. 
Yeah, I mean, I mean that's, I mean that's exactly what it is. It's, it, you, you know, what it reminds me of. It kind of reminds me of uh, Silver Surfer. Right. Yeah. Right. It reminds me of Silver Surfer. And right here, I keep like the other button. I'm playing with a PS2 controller, so I guess the B was to, is to make you fly the other way to turn your ship around and fly the other way, and then you gotta keep hitting A, and then just up and down to avoid the enemies. And of course, I forget you can still toggle with different weapons in this game. Like right now, I'm using fire who is represented by i don't know i forgot their names in the cartoon i just know captain planet and blunder and that's and blight and that's it i don't know the kids names let, let me I, I wonder if i can remember them there was uh mati kwami uh uh linka agi and wheeler i believe yeah, yeah. Wheeler, that's how i use the wheeler uh-huh. button here now i'm using uh i don't know the the white girls i don't know <laughs> <laughs> and I'm about to die already. Look at this on heart. Uh, we guy is a heart. The guy that has the heart power. Uh, right. Um, yeah, I am totally. Look, no more energy. How am I still alive? Wait a minute. Well, no. See, the thing is, is that it's, it, that, that's not a life bar. W- what that is is basically your um. Oh, your, that's right. Uh, I oh, oh, your God. ammo stash. Yeah. That's right. He's one hit kills right here. One hit kills. Okay, that's robot's got three legs. What the heck is that? So I thought I thought it was over. I keep thinking it's over as a boss battle there. No, it's not. It keeps going. No, it just keeps on going on and on. Again, oh. this game, and again, this game, it does not teach you how to play it at all. It, it, the, the, the learning curve, there is no learning curve to this game. They just expect, the developers just expected you to know how to play this. It, it seems very rushed to me. And wait, wait, so it may- the, the, they don't tell you how to play it in the instruction book? Mm, well, it does. It, it, it tells you how to play it, but at the same time, it's not going to explain every obstacle. Like, for yeah. example, how was how, how are you supposed to know the fire at the legs of the walker? You, you wouldn't have known to have done that. Yeah. Um, there. I mean, there are very simple. Um, I mean, you know. Hold on, I'm not. Don't quote me on that because when I rented the game the first time, I don't. I don't believe it had the instruction manual, which was a common issue with with video game rentals in the early '90s. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but um, but at the same time, I don't believe the instruction manual would have taught you how to overcome every obstacle. Here's another piece of trivia: Le- uh, Levon, uh, Lavar, Lavar, Lavar Burton. He did the voice of Kwame. Lavar Burton was the host of Reading Rainbow. <laughs> oh, yeah, really? Huh? Okay, yeah, yeah, I remember him. Mm-hmm. And ah, this music. Oh, I couldn't get it out of my head last week when I kept on trying to play this game legit without cheating. <laughs> and I just, I don't think you can cheat. I actually tried to, I finally resorted to cheat and I can't really find no cheat codes. The only thing yeah, I found I on Game Facts was the passwords to the to passwords, the yeah. But yeah, the, oh, look at this. What, what I got, this. Did I just get killed by oil? Yeah. See, oil this is wind. another. They have to say oil rig. This game is rigged. Ah, oh, jeez, look at that. Man, this is embarrassing. It's terrible. I mean, it's, it's, it's a terrible game. And the thing about it is, is um, as a video, uh, as an angry video game nerd would say, um, the, the, uh, that was your weekend. You you yeah. went to you, you you walked into a video store on a Friday evening, rented a game, anticipated you know had these high expectations of you know Captain Planet, the Planeteers, and you get this, and that and that was it. Yeah, I remember my weekends, I end up with Roger Rabbit and Total Recall for the NES. Right. Oh, man. There goes my weekend. What? Ah, oh, I thought I destroyed all the legs. Come on. It's, again, it's kind of hard to... This is getting repetitive. I want to play as Captain Planet and see what that's like. You know, you know the funny thing is is that the, with, with Captain Planet, even the Captain Planet segment of the game is is, is bad. It's, it's it's horrible. You figured that would be the good part of the game. It's, it's equally as frustrating. Oh man. So, uh, well, hopefully I'll get to that here in a minute. Um, because I do want to see. I mean, I've seen the we've seen the demo screen earlier, Captain Planet. Uh, yes. So I at least want to do that now, and I may have to use some uh, passwords to get past this level. Because, jeez, uh-huh. I just want to get to Hogwash or whatever the boss's name is in this level. Hogish Greedly. <laughs> yeah, Hogwarts and whatever. And yeah, I. I'm glad I never came across this game when I was a kid. I love the you know, cartoon. I really did like the cartoon. I enjoyed it, but I've never ever heard of this game until you mentioned it to me. 
Well, you know, I, I used to believe that Captain. Oh, wow! Check that out. You got power up there. Now oh, you can cool. shoot in. Now, now you can shoot in both directions. Nice. Left and right. That's pretty cool. Um. So so again, it is uh it, it is like a um what would you call that a railgun shooter? I believe you would say. Yeah. But um, it, it has that functionality. But uh, it's it's like a side scroller that wants to be a real gun game. It it can't it can't really make up its mind as to what it wants to be. Yeah, uh, the other well, thing about I was gonna say huh? I'm all for a variety, but it has to be done right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's kind of like a. Come on! <laughs> I, think I killed it too. You did. <laughs> I used to hate when that happened. Yeah. <laughs> but um. Yeah, it's kind of like a, um, it's kind of like a, a wrestling game merged with a hockey game. But then again, I think they did that once, or, or they've done something like that. Sort of so like, do you remember that game Def Jam Vendetta? It was like a wrestling game with yeah. uh, with, with with the Def Jam stars like DMX and you know, yeah. I so, know. yeah. But uh, here's the other thing about Captain Planet. Um, I used to think Captain Planet was so cool when I was a kid. And I used to think he was the uh, the epitome of what it meant to be a superhero. But then I realized something in my adulthood, and uh, it's his weakness. His weakness is literally garbage. <laughs> yeah, that's his kryptonite. <laughs> so since I can't get past that level for some stupid reason, I'm going to enter the password here to see what level 2 looks like. Hopefully this is where you get to play as Captain Planet. Yeah. Real similar to Dirty Harry here for the NES, which is made by the same company. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that explains a lot. Yeah, there's Wheeler. Hey, dudes. Let's make sure that Hoglet is heading to the state pig pen. State pig pen. I get it. Now Nail bacon. Hit. Yeah. Oh, that's that, that scrolling text. Uh, I remember that kid. He was kind of a douchebag. Earth. Fire, wind, heart, water, heart, and then fire. Oh God! What exactly did heart do? Like bring peace well, to the world? Uh, heart, heart, it's like by your powers combined, I am Captain Planet. Okay, it, 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 that, that's just the nostalgia kicking in. Uh, yeah. Heart power, heart power was. Uh, it kind of did whatever you wanted it to do. Uh, he could he could communicate with animals. Uh, yeah, that's right. He, as I say, he uh, it, it, it granted him the the ability of uh, it granted him the ability to communicate with animals uh it gave him the ability to um <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> it gave him the ability to uh communicate with others telekinetically not telekinetically telepathically telekinesis yeah. when you move something with your mind it's kinetic but either which way uh he uh it, it allowed uh, telepathic communication and uh some somehow he was able to communicate with animals now what that has to do with heart I don't know, but he was the. Um, it was Mati. Uh, Ma Mati. Mati was the was a useless planeteer, like like utterly useless. Which one was that? Uh, Mati. He was the um, he was the the youngest of the planeteers. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. What the one that has the heart? Too. Yeah, it, 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 and it was kind of funny because you know the the. Um, it, it, it was kind of funny because when um, there, there was actually an episode dedicated to Mati, um, where the um, where the powers that be just acknowledged the fact that his powers were useless. So they so, so what they did was they created a uh, what, what they did was they did an episode where Mati was uh, a little melancholy about how his powers just didn't really. How his, how, his, how his powers or how his particular ring ability whatever whatever it is was of no use to the team and as and, and it was just one of those episodes where this where the story arc ended where his heart power somehow came into play but the funny thing is is that um i don't remember how exactly he i only I, I don't remember how exactly the episode ended so i guess what i'm trying to say is, is that it didn't really matter he's yeah. still useless <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, a lot of glitching, oh, and I apologize uh, that it's not with the game, that's with the ROM. Oh. oh I was going to say, well, NES games, they, they had their, uh, you know, they have their fair share of glitches. Yeah, that's true, but this is actually the ROM issue. The ROM, the ROM doing issue that? issue right here, not the actual game. This game is bad enough. Uh, yeah. 
But yeah, I mean, right here, though, it's cool I get to play as Captain Planet now instead of that stupid spaceship, whatever the heck I was in. Um, yeah. So now I get to uh, do something different here, and he has different powers. I'm trying to figure out how to get past Slimer there. And yep. I guess those are power ups. Exactly. You see Captain Planet scratching his head every now and then because he's like, I, you, even you don't know how to get through this yeah, game. Right, even the game doesn't know how to play the game. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, see? Freaking glitch and caused me to mess up. Mm. Man, the gaming glitch gremlin is definitely in, in this game right here, or this ROM at least. The here's another here's another thing. I remember one Christmas, my mom. Um, yeah, it was funny because uh, apparently I did something well. Oh, that's a lot of glitching. But uh, my mom, she basically let me. She 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 basically bought. Uh, pretty much bought me the entire, not the entire toy line, but um, for Christmas, I got all five of the Planeteers, the Geo Cruiser, the Geo Cycle, um, a few of the villains. It was pretty cool. It was, it was, it was a pretty good Christmas. Um, here's something I realized about the, uh, the Planeteer vehicles, uh, Dr. Blight. Yep. Uh, here's something I realized about the uh, the vehicles in the game. I mean, in the in the show, they were uh, they were all solar powered, which means that um, you can forget about crime fighting at night with these guys. <laughs> yeah. Right. Unless of course there's I, I mean unless of course there's a solar capacitor installed. I don't know. Oh, I love this level because I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Well, alright, this time we're in a helicopter now instead of that stupid spaceship. And. Wait. Why do I. Whoa, what? Wait a minute, what? What just killed me? Ah, you know. What? Yeah, I got killed by a tree. But what killed me earlier? Hold on a second. Oh, someone fired at me from the ground? You know what? I just figured it out. I just figured it out. And this is weird. Mm -hmm. And I. I, and and I, I remember playing this when I was a kid. Do you notice that when you're? Do, do you notice that whenever you fly the helicopter at a high altitude, the truck moves faster? But when you fly a lower altitude, it slows down. I didn't notice that. Yeah, that's exactly what was happening there. I remember it because um, I, I forgot. I, I remember this because once upon a time I actually caught up to the truck. And what it's and, and what it's doing is okay. So basically, this is what's happening. The truck the truck is racing toward a uh, toward a, a toward a river or toward uh, yeah toward a river because right now you're right now you're in a park. The truck is basically going to dump, see right there. And basically, what happens is that the truck dumps um, these. See, the truck slows down. So so basically, what happens is that once the truck is at the site, it dumps hazardous waste chemicals into the body of water, whatever it just so happens to be. Well, uh, if you don't get to the truck in time, you lose. The, you, you, uh, you, if you don't get into, the, if you don't get to the truck in time, you die. That's basically what's happening. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I guess that's what happened then. And I apologize. Uh, I, at least on my end, the the audio just went mute. I think that's an issue with my video. This man, this game. No. The, the the game sucked the sound out. That's what happened. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I mean, I, I, I apologize. I did have trouble getting this video Start uploaded before and I had to re-upload it again. And I guess something, the file got corrupted. Captain Pollution just polluted this game is what happened. I mean, because this game is complete garbage. It stinks. I mean, not a good first impression so far. Whoa! Well, like, Captain Acid Trip. <laughs> what the? Whoa! Man. Th th this game has th this game has no redeeming qualities whatsoever. Th right. There's, th I, I don't have anything good to say about it at all. Well, it has it had potential. I mean, if it was done right, a Mindscape. I mean, it freaking ruined Dirty Harry. Um, I will say that so far, this game is much better than Dirty Harry. Dirty Harry is complete garbage. Uh, this, speaking of garbage, you know, you said that was Captain Planet's weakness. Yep. Yeah. His 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 weakness was garbage. Yeah. Let's see. 
So, so, so invariably, his his weakness is styrofoam, uh, aerosol sprays. Um, <laughs> Oh man, my weakness is terrible games that glitch. What is that? Oh, I guess more pollution. So is Captain Pollution the boss of the game, or is it Blunder? I have no idea. I didn't. I, I didn't care. I, I didn't get that far. Cool. It became a big water droplet, and I get through obstacles that way. I'm about to about to run out of power. I'm dead. Oh man. So, so strange. Well, Captain Planet, he's still no Superman. No, it's far from it. Far from it. At least, at least Superman had genuine weakness. Well, sort of. <laughs> yeah. But I, I, I'm done. Yeah. That's it. I'm done. Uh, all I gotta say is, uh, Captain Planet for the NES definitely not a good first impression. I give it maybe a four out of ten. Um, I forgot what I gave Dirty Harry, but um, I still think it's better. Uh, I'll probably contradict myself because I don't remember what I gave Dirty Hair. Probably three or four out of ten. Probably the same score, but I think Captain Planet so far is a little bit better. But yeah, this game, uh, man, d definitely not ECW. I'm glad I never came across it as a kid. Uh, Demond, what are your final thoughts? I don't know what Ted Turner was thinking when he when he greenlit that project. Well, you know, I, I want to buy WCW and I want to buy Cap or create a cartoon called Captain Planet. <laughs> I, mean, I can't I, I can't blame him entirely for all of that, but at the same time, the 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 premise of the show was the premise of the show was of its time. Again, at, around that time in the '90s, everyone was environmentally conscious, so why not promote? Captain Planet, right then, right there. Yeah. Problem yeah. is, is that the uh, the product doesn't translate well into a video game, or it could, but at the same time, you, there, there's a certain way of going about doing it. Now, I'm no video game developer, but but I know what I like, and this, I no, I uh, revisiting it, it, I don't feel any better about it than what I did when I was a kid. It's, it's actually. I don't know. It's <laughs> I really don't know what to say about it other than the fact that I didn't like it then. I don't like it now. I probably never will. Uh, even I, 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 even as an adult, although my fingers are more nimble now, I, I would still have problems with that. I would still have problems with that game, so I don't care to ever <laughs> play it again. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Well, Damon, thank you very much for requesting this. Um this was your debut on my channel, so maybe you'll be back for some more commentaries. Uh, we'll Most see. Definitely. Most definitely. All right, so thank you guys for watching, and for Demond, this is Ron Moore. God bless, and take care.